Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a planetary eclipse using techniques from some of my other tutorials. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Make your foreground color black and then press Alt or Option plus Delete. Go to View and make sure Rulers and Snap are checked. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up your Transform tool and then click on the ruler and drag out the guideline to the center until it snaps in place. Now go to the top ruler and drag that guideline to the center. Call up your Type tool and click on the Character Text box. I'm choosing a font called Alien League which you can download for free at defont.com. Make sure the color is black and click off the eyeball on the base layer to hide it. Click on your document and type out your word. Click the eyeball back on your base and click the FX icon. Choose Stroke. Click on the color box. Choose White and press OK. I'll increase the size to 3 pixels. Keep in mind, depending on the size, resolution, and characteristics of your text, you may find a different number works better for you. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up your Transform tool and move it until it snaps to the center. I'm sliding it to the right a bit so the letter I will be in the center. To accept the transform, press Enter or Return. Press Ctrl or Command H to hide the guidelines. Click on the Channels tab and click on the circular icon in the lower left. This will make a selection of all the tonal values of the image. Open the Layers panel and click on the New Layer icon. Click on the foreground color and choose a color for your text. I'm choosing a bright green. Press Alt or Option to fill the selection with that color. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection. We can trash the original text since we don't need it anymore. Let's retitle this layer Eclipse and then close the character text window. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the layer and then we'll hide the copy. Make the original layer active and then press Ctrl or Command T to call up your transform tool. Go to a corner and click and drag in to reduce its size. Press Enter or Return to accept it. Go to Filter, Blur and Radial Blur. The Radial Blur window will open. Make sure the blur is in the center, the amount is 100, the method is zoom and the quality is best. We need to pump up our word to see it better so press Ctrl or Command J a few times to build up copies onto each other. Press Ctrl or Command E enough times to merge all the copies into one layer. Press Ctrl or Command F to duplicate the last filter which is motion blur. We'll click back on the eyeball of the ellipse copy to see it and with the motion blur layer still active, press Ctrl or Command T to call up the transform tool. Click on a corner and hold down Shift and Alt or Shift and Option, then drag out to increase its size from the center. Press Enter or Return to accept it. Let's pump up the motion blur a little more by pressing Ctrl or Command J to make some copies. Now let's merge copy 3 and 2 together by pressing Ctrl E once. Press the layer mask icon. Press B to call up your brush tool and make sure the opacity is 100%. Increase the size of your brush by pressing the right bracket key a few times and click a few times to make the center of the blurred effect less intense. Press Ctrl or Command E to merge this layer with the layer below it. Hold Shift and click on the top layer to highlight both layers. Then press Ctrl or Command G to place them as a group into its own folder. Click on the base to highlight it and then press Ctrl or Command H to make the guidelines visible. Call up your elliptical marquee tool. Go to the crosshairs of the guideline and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you drag out a circle. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut the selection from the background and copy it to its own layer. We'll hide the text group and press Ctrl or Command as you click on the new layer icon. 
This creates a new layer below the active layer. Call up your gradient tool and click on the gradient box. Make sure the linear gradient is highlighted. Then click on the arrow to open your list of gradient presets. I'm choosing a preset called Noise Samples. Click Append. I'll choose a preset called Blues. Click on the gradient box and that'll call up the gradient editor. Uncheck Restrict Colors and check Add Transparency. Click OK. Go to the left of your document, hold Shift and click and drag across to the opposite side. Release your mouse or pen. Go to Filter, Distort and Polar Coordinates. Choose Rectangular to Polar. Click off the eyeball to hide the black circle and click on the layer mask icon. Click on the arrow next to the gradient box and click on the black to white gradient. Then click on the radial gradient button. Hold shift as you click on the center of the radial gradient. Drag to the right side of your document and release. We want to invert this so the center of the radial gradient is bright and the outer edges are less transparent. To do this we need to invert the layer mask. Press Ctrl or Command I. Let's brighten this by pressing Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. And now decrease the intensity of the outer circumference. Click on the layer mask to make it active and then redraw the layer mask gradient with a tighter diameter. Press Ctrl or Command I to invert the layer mask. Press Ctrl or Command E to merge these two layers together. Make the black circle visible by clicking on the eyeball. Let's retitle the radial gradient Aura. Click on the black circle to make it active and then click on the FX icon. Choose Outer Glow. Change the blend mode to overlay, the opacity to 35% and the size to 50 pixels. Let's brighten the outer glow a little more by pressing Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. Let's make the circle look more like a sphere by adding a soft edge. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the layer to call up its selection and then click on the foreground color. I'm choosing a medium rich blue. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with the color. Press the New Layer button, and with the selection still active, press Ctrl or Command D to fill the selection with black. Hover your cursor between the two circles and click when you see this overlapping double circle. This creates a clipping mask of the blue circle. Now we can move the black circle inside the blue circle. Move the black circle down and to the left. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. I'm blurring it by 27 pixels. Click and move it inside the blue circle until you find a position that feels right. Click on the base layer. We're going to make it into a star field. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. The amount is 400%, Gaussian Distribution, and Monochromatic. Go back to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by 0.3 pixels. Type in 240 for the dark input level. Let's brighten the aura a little more. Click on it to make it active and then press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. Hide the top aura and make the bottom aura active. We'll decrease the opacity to 65%. We'll make the top aura active again and then click on the layer mask. We'll fill the layer mask with black. Since black is our background color, press Ctrl or Command Delete. Press B to call up your brush tool and brush around the edge of the circle revealing the bright aura under the layer mask. Click on your group folder holding your text and make it active. Click on Filter and Convert for Smart Filters. Click OK. Go to Filter, Distort, and Spherize. 
will bring the amount all the way to 100%. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up your transform tool and when this window appears press OK. Go to a corner and hold Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and then click and drag in to reduce its size from the center. Press Enter or Return. To set off this eclipse, let's add the final step of adding a lens flare. Click on the New Layer icon and press Control shift alt e or Command shift option e on a Mac. This made a composite snapshot of the entire image and placed it on its own layer. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. I'm using the 50 to 300 millimeter zoom lens with a brightness of 70%. Position it on the perimeter of the sphere. Have fun creating your own planetary eclipse customized with your own text. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.